guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. So I'm going to tell you a slight variation on a pattern called the, the Black Squirrel Flamethrower. The hook in the vise is a Partridge Patriot double, black nickel. I'm going to use a uni thread, 801 fire orange, to tie the fly. So I'm just going to come in a couple of mil behind the, uh, the hook, get the thread started. Move the waist tag of thread, the tag and the rib. Be a, this is just a gold ultra wire. Just tie this in on the way down. Just work on my thread until I'm past the, the points of the hooks. Then I'm going to come around with five turns of the ultra wire to create the tag. On the last turn, just bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. I'm just going to run the thread forward. Tie this in. Then I'm just going to come in and fold it back underneath for the rib. Just work my thread back down. Now the body is a Opal Mirage tinsel and large. Just catch that in. Now you could put some varnish or super glue on before you bring this up, but the wire should be enough to hold the fly together. There are a couple of turns. Get rid of the waste. I'm going to come up with three turns of the gold wire. Nice and tight. Follow that around with a thread. Take turns and best to bend and break away that uh, gold ultra wire is really strong. Wink. Sorry, hit of myself there. <laughs> Mid haggle, you're looking at an orange cock haggle, or a, in this case, this is a this has been dyed some burst, but it's more to the to the orange side to be fair. Just going to come around with a turn. Catch in the tip. Bring away the tip of the haggle. I'm with my scissors. Now, I'm probably going to look about two turns of this because I don't want to cover up all my mirage tinsel at the back. Catch that in. Now I'm going to try and make the fly as strong as I can, so we'll take a couple of turns going forward then I'll come in and strip away some of the fibre work the thread on forward, tie in the stem break that away, and then work the thread back down, tie it up against the the mid haggle and I'll just come in with my toothbrush and brush out the haggle fibres, save my Tender fingers. Now you guessed it. Wing. Some bucktail dyed orange. Now the way I just take the bucktail, guys, is to be first. Just I take what I think I need, and then I just reduce it by half. It's always seemed to work for me in relation to the proportion of the fly. Then I just bring in the by hand, just sort of way stack the the bucktail. Now, I'm not looking at it to be like a paintbrush, so I don't get too hung up of some are a wee bit longer than the others. Just wanted to have some sort of profile. Then just take a measurement, roughly about I don't know twice the length of the hook over the back, something like that. Just depends what way you like to tie your flamethrowers and come in. Nip the axis away. We'll put two types of flash into the wing here. The first, this is just micro flash and orange. I'm just looking at strands sort of way down either side. Fold this back. Trim away the, the waist. Then I'm going to come in with some black. Crystal flash. Right, 
believe it or not, this stuff does show up in the water. Even in PD, PD water, black crystal flashes, good to use. So we'll catch that in. Fold the waste ends back again. Trim those away. Now at this point I'm just going to work my thread down just over the cut ends. Then I'll go back to my gold wire, which I need to get a length of off the spool. So let's get a length of that. Really strong this gold wire from UTC. It's some of the best gold wire I've ever used, to be fair. Now, just working the thread bag just tied up against the the wing the body we're just looking some black floss this is just uni floss and black just from the last fly that I tied so should, should be enough to get as a, a front body we'll catch that in and then we'll just bring up the floss now what I like to do here is just come in take the wing just come around with my first reel sort of a turn of floss and then just overlapping turns of the black floss up the body to there catch this in turn with the floss bring up our rib and three turns on the front body. Now what I like to do here is, is work my thread forward, just getting the base of thread down for the materials that we're going to put on at the front. Then we can bend and break away the wire and bring our thread back up. Now we're not looking too bad. The wing at the front this is where it's probably a variant but using a different material on the rear body on the original the wing is a grey squirrel dyed black this is just some arctic runner that I'm going to use now I want the arctic runner just coming well into the the mid wing just went past the, the halfway point of the mid wing anyway so we'll just catch that in trim that away we'll put some flash in this is just the two strands of the orange micro flash that I used for the bucktail catch that in fold it back trim that away now we a bit too long so just clip that to the length of the leg first hackle at the front can use a, an orange cock haggle at this point. Just going to use an orange hen. The reason why I'm using the hen is because I like the, the colour of orange here compared to the, the orange mid haggle. Just allows for a couple of different contrasts in the orange colour. Now I'm just going to stroke these back. take one turn in front of the other. Now, probably only one turn to be fair. I don't want to cover everything up with a, a second turn so I'm just going to catch this in underneath the, the shank of the hoop. Nice tight turns going forward. Catching in the, the hackle. Then I'm coming and trim that away. Then I'm just going to work my thread back up. There. Now we're, we're not looking too bad. Last haggle at the front. Each over and get it. Just looking a yellow. Badger haggle. Now we're not looking anything too big in favour. It's just a, just a wee small haggle here. And I'll probably just take two turns of this. Just because it's a, a cock haggle. So I'm going to catch it in. 
the nice tight turns now I'm starting to build up a wee bit of a slope so I'm just going to try and straighten that up a wee bit break away the tip using my scissors again to force back the hackle fibers while they're on the stem I'm just going to take two turns like I say I'll just catch this off here at this point a couple of turns of thread nice and tight I'm going to come in and clip that away I'm just going to put a wee like a wax on them, a thread here, just for the jungle cut. Just starting to get a wee bit of a slope there. It makes sense to put a wee bit of wax on at this point. Now, you can leave the fly like that. You don't have the odd jungle cut. I know I say that all the time because I'm just worried that there will be people watching this and they think maybe Oh, we'll have to buy a jungle cock. You don't. Not every fly that I use, I'll show you that in a minute, requires jungle cock. Now, your two eyes, Stafford up to the, the hook. Just come around with a couple of turns just to see what way you're sitting. I just want to check the length. Just always check the the length of the, the jungle cock, it's nothing worse. You lift the fly and it's the jungle cock's longer on one side than it is on the other. Still not stop the fish from taking it like now I'm just gonna fold the jungle cock back and then built up my head here. Nice one a nice bright fire orange head on this fly. So nice and tight with the thread turns and keep them thread turns tight I can break those away and I'm going to come straight in and just throw in a work finish I'm just going to shape the head a wee bit here put my thread nice and tight come in break away the the tan thread right. that's the wee fly finished it's a nice wee fly just a wee fibre here I'll just take that away because that's going to cause me a problem. Just noticed it. Once we sort of put the glue on. So, first coat onto the head. We drop a super glue. I'm going to have to go in because this pot's near done. Open up a new one. Right the whole way, right round. Then, once that dries, I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish, guys. But that's just a it's just a slight variant, but most of these flame floors and fur boats flies are variants of originals. But that wee fly has always worked well for me. Now, putting these together for myself. So, this is the box. Now, the flies that I've used the previous season, any ones that I've used, or that have been in the box, sorry, that I haven't used. I just give them away to people. Um, but I'll always start with fresh hooks. I'll never recycle hooks. I just don't do it. And then I'll start off my, my fly boxes. So this fly here, like I say, this one here has jungle cock on it. This one doesn't. I've done this for the channel without jungle cock. That's called the thunder shrimp. Taking some nice salmon on it. And then this one, here's that one. And I'll have two patterns of each size. I'll never I'll never go any more than that. But I'm going to take this through me basically filling up not the whole box me, videos of each flag. Because I think I will be boring for you. But I'll show you this as we go along over the next sort of way couple of days. I'll have it done. But you'll see it on the channel over the next few weeks. So you fish for salmon. Tie one of those up all year round. It's got all the right colour combinations as you can see. Orange and black and yellow. You just can't go wrong with it would be my view. Um, as for the fly box, look, listen, 
I'm no expert salmon angler by any stretch of the imagination, but I just wanted to share it with you, and that's what I'll do, I'll keep you to it. So, as always, thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. I know how busy people are. Um, so, thank you, and uh, all being well, I'll catch you on the next one.